Welcome to another mathematics lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So this is uh, part two, okay? This is part two of, um, of my lesson, under cosine rule. So we did our first part where we are looking at uh, how you can apply the cosine rule when you are given all the three sides, okay? So how do you find the, an angle when all three sides are given on a non-right angle uh, triangle? Now, in this session, we are going to look at uh, how we can apply the cosine rule when only when only two sides okay when only two sides and an angle are given so uh let's say you have been given uh this side okay they have given you this side we say this is side uh if we have an angle at b this would be side small letter b then a this will be small letter a okay so let's say they have given you ac presented by this side b then bc presented by this side a okay so if they give you a question like this okay then right here at c you have an angle that you are calling a what a theta okay you have this side you have this side then you have an included angle that's what you have said Okay, so if they give you a question like this, it means that they are going to ask you to find the length of AB. Okay, the length of AB. Now, this is how you can know that I'm supposed to apply the cosine rule. As long as the two sides that you are given, okay, they are meeting at an angle like this. Have you seen this? Here I've got A, here I've got side B. And then there is an angle. A. These two sides they are meeting at an angle so you must know that i must apply the cosine rule so when you are given the two sides and an included angle they'll ask you to find the third side which will be the length of a b so i hope uh, what i've explained there is clear okay i hope you have gotten the concept so from here how can we find uh the length of side d a b presented by this small letter c okay so we are going to apply the cosine what the cosine rule so how we are going to apply this cosine rule is this okay the side that we want this is the side that we want okay we want side what side c i hope you get you want this side so if you want this side okay if you want this side you are going to say c squared equal to this small letter c squared equal to okay and then you're going to add this and this okay you're going to say uh start with a you say a squared plus b squared minus 2ab you have seen minus 2ab and then Cos, what angle are you given? You're given an angle at C. So I'm going to say cos C. I hope, uh, I hope it's clear. Okay. That is what you are, you are going to use. That is the formula you need to know. All right. Let's now assume that um, the sides that we are, we are given an angle right here. Okay. You are given an angle right there at point A. Then you have uh, this side B and C. Okay. And then they say find the distance BC. So you know that as long as the two angles, they are meeting, the two sides, sorry, they are meeting at an angle. So this is like this. You can see here you have an angle at A. Then here you have a side C. Then the side what? B. The moment you see this, you know that I'm going to apply the cosine what? The cosine rule. Okay? So, how can we apply the formula? So, here I'm just helping you to be able to create the formulas for yourself. Okay? So, if you have been given this side and this side, two sides are given and they included the angle at A, they will ask you to find the third side for this BC. So, this is A. This side B will be presented by small letter what? A. Okay, so to come up with the formula for this, this is our second one. 
we are going to we are just going to say okay we are just going to say since this is the side that you want bc so i'll say a squared equal to a squared the side that i want then b squared plus c squared so this will be b squared plus c squared minus 2 b c this b c 2 b c cos what angle are you given the angle at a so cos a like that that is your formula that you are going to apply remember these formulas are even provided to you during the what the exam but it's also important to know when you when you can apply them and what route to, to use this is the main purpose of the video so that you are just able to identify what true you are going to to use okay so uh, let's assume that uh, they have given you now the angle is not on a the angle is at what a uh, b right here then they say calculate a c so i've been given two sides so this side a you have then this side c you have now they say calculate the length of AC. Okay. Given an angle at B and the two sides like this. We know that we are going to apply the cosine rule. That's what I've said. If the two sides are meeting at the given angle like this. Like this. You use the cosine what cosine rule. So what form are you going to come up with? So I leave that to you. Okay. So for me, I'm just going to give you now an example. Alright, so we let us look at an example right there. So we have triangle ABC of which um, the angle ACB is equal to 63, the side AC is equal to 15, and the side BC is equal to 25. The question is, calculate the distance AB. So they want you to find the distance from A to B. So how can we know what we are going to use? Okay, two sides are given and an included angle so these two sides that are given they are forming or they are meeting at an angle which is a 63 the moment i spot this i'll be able to know that i'm going to use the cosine what the cosine rule because i'm even asked to find the uh, third side right here so this is how you know now what formula are you going to come up with so we know that where we have a this side is small letter A, where we have B, this side is small letter B, corresponding to AC, okay? Where I've got C, this side is small letter C. Meaning that they want us to find AB, of which we are going to use C to represent the length of AB, okay? So the formula is, we said, you say, C squared, okay? Let me start from here. You say, C squared is equal to, here, you have A, B. So, A squared plus B squared. A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. 2AB. Cos, the angle that you are given is at C, right here. So, you say, cos C. Upon writing that, let us now move on. C squared, we don't have. It's what we want. AB. So, C squared equal to. A squared, what is the value of A? It's a 25 right here. So this will be 25 squared plus B squared is right here, which is a 15. 15 squared minus 2. A is a what? A 25. Okay. Then B is a 15. So, because of uh, I don't have enough space, so this should be times cos. What is an angle at C right here? It's a 63. 63 degrees. So, I hope we are moving together right there. Okay? That is what you are, you are going to write. Now, from that point, what you just need is uh, a calculator and you punch on the calculator. So we just need to punch where we say 25 squared. This will give us uh, 625. Okay. So we're going to say 
c squared equal to 625 plus 15 squared. Okay, what is it giving us? 225 minus Lenny 2 times 25 times 15. Okay, so you say 2 times 25 times 15. So I've, uh, I've just multiplied 2 times 25 times 15 without multiplying this. Okay, let's not do the premature uh, multiplication 750, then cos. Stay three okay now from this stage uh we can just punch on the calculator we punch on the calculator to see the value that you are going to get so i'm going to punch 625 plus 225 minus 750 times cos 63 okay all right so when we punch 625 plus 225 minus 750 times cos 3, we are getting a uh, 509.5071252. So I hope that is the value that you have gotten as well. Now, we want to find the value of uh, C, this side C. So we need to get rid of this uh, 2 by introducing a square root. Even this side, we introduce a square root. So this 2 and the square root will cancel. Therefore, C is equal to. So what you need to do is, uh, we should now find the square root of this same number, okay, which will give us 22.57264.51, uh, now we are finding this side, okay. We are finding this side. So we can leave our answer correct to three significant what, figures. Okay. So our final answer, we are just going to say C equal to 22 point. This five will make it three, but it will be rounded up by seven. So this would be a six. So this is the value of C, meaning that the distance, the distance, the distance of AB is equal to 22.6 okay so that is how we can uh, answer or that is how we can find the distance of a b according to the question so we've come to the end of our lesson i hope you have gotten something okay so uh, another video will come where i'm going to explain or now you can use the the sign rule sorry the yeah the sign rule we are just from doing the cosine rule Okay, so thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.